Within moments of meeting you, I could tell you were special and different. You caught my eye as you were standing across the bar with your friends. I sent you and your friend a drink and you came over. You had no problem speaking your mind and letting me know exactly what you're looking for in life. And your friends certainly weren't shy either, letting me know they would kill me if I hurt you. <laughs> Minutes after meeting, you said your short-term goal was to get married and have four kids. This would have been a red flag if anyone else had said it, but it didn't scare me off. We started hanging out and going on dates constantly. A couple weeks after meeting, we were watching a movie together. I scrolled back through our texting history to show you the message I had sent you on our first night we met. The text was me telling you that you were going to be my girlfriend. I was right. At this time, you agreed and we were officially dating. Another short couple weeks later, we picked up our first dog together, a crazy German Shepherd, Cash. I couldn't get enough of you. Four years later, nothing has changed. Even though you're so picky and get car sick everywhere I take you, I love our adventures, date nights, and everything we do together. You're my best friend, and I can't wait to spend my life with you. Raising our children, traveling, spending time with friends and, friends and family, and whatever else life throws our way. I vow to love you without reservations or conditions. I vow to always do my best to give more than I take and not keep score. When I'm with you, I'm the best version of myself because I'm utterly and unapologetically myself. I vow to continuously work on myself and to be the best husband you want and deserve. I love you. Daisies blooming Sundress swaying in the breeze I can't stop staring Megan, you are an exceptional you young woman on me. The right match for Kyle You are thoughtful, kind, and intelligent You are as beautiful on the inside as you are on the outside This marriage makes us so happy it seems as though Kyle and Megan were created for each other. The greatest feeling that I could ever dare to dream is you forever moving next to me. Most of you know me as Andrea, but if you have been fortunate enough to catch Megan and I in action, you know that she refers to me as Sissy and I call her Dawn. Throughout our 15-year friendship, we have evolved into a sisterhood. The role of older sister fluctuates day to day, but without a doubt, Megan has always been a guiding light in my life. She inspires the people around her to be the best versions of themselves. <laughs> Thank you for being my pain in the ass little sister and inspiring big sister all wrapped into one. <laughs> Darling, would you be mine? And I hope you know I will love you for the rest of my life. Let's not waste time, or oh, take this slow. You got miles behind us, but miles to go. So let's just break this down. I remember when I first met you, Carl. You were a bit shy, quite a bit shy. Only normal when you first meet someone, smiling, really polite, always polite. And I think I literally shocked you when I said, you're absolutely stunning. <laughs> you thanked me and you smiled and you blushed. Clearly remember. It was about a month later, you and Megan came back to the apartment. We'd gone out for dinner, a few drinks. And all of a sudden I'm on my couch just watching TV and I hear something like this. Pamatha! Coming from the room. Pamatha! <laughs> it, was, it was my turn to be shocked. And you and Megan were laughing hysterically, and I remember thinking to myself, this young man is going to fit in with my family just fine. And I really like him. Now we've arrived to this day, and I've come to know you very well over the years. You are still stunning. And for this family, you hold a special place in our hearts. We'll always be better than two. We ran wild through every sea 
have the pleasure of officiating today's festivities with Kyle and Megan. You know, it's important for them to take this next step in their love. Well, this day has been make, in the making for many years. You know, they met at Chili Pepper. He ordered a drink from across the bar. He saw her and the rest is history. Their first date, the haunted house. Are some of you taking notes? First date, haunted house. They talked. They continued dating after that and they fell in love. The proposal, why not go to Miami? Oh, windy night, so many roses. What's this, he's on one knee. The words, when you know, you know. Wow, I can't picture my life without anyone but you. The perfect proposal brought them all the way to today. By the way, she did say yes. Just in case it's not here, but... You know, they've taken so many turns in their life to make them into the people they are standing before you today. And everyone around them from near and far has touched their lives, each in their own way. With this ring. I give you my love. I give you my love. And now, if you'll take this one, please, and place it on Kyle's finger. And repeat these words, with this ring. With this ring. I give you my love. I give you my love. I say to you, may you have many joys. May you be the light of each other's day. May all that you are always be in love and may all that is love always be in you. May you always see and encourage each other. And may the challenges that are going to come your way, may they make your marriage grow even stronger. But most of all, after getting to know the two of you, may you always continue to be each other's best friend and greatest love. Family and friends, with those words said, it is my honor and delight to now pronounce them husband and wife. <laughs> you may seal your mouth on the Thank you.